the realities of being a truck driver in 2020. Is it still worth it to be a truck driver these days? In this video, I'm going to present to you the facts of the state of the trucking industry and you can decide. So let's jump right in. Number one, let's face it, the pay is not great. If you're an over the road guy and you're being paid by the mile, these days the pay is crap because the cost of living has gone up every year for years and years now and the mileage rate has not significantly increased to keep pace with that. So you're really losing money these days. An over the road guy back in the 70s was making the equivalent of 80 grand. These days, the over the road guys are making an average of oh, about 40 grand. We haven't kept up. The pay is not great in over the road by the mile trucking. On the bright side, you don't have to do over the road trucking anymore. In fact, most guys are getting out of it because the money is just not there. This license that you have, this CDL license, allows you to drive anything. You can do virtually any type of trucking. You can run regional, you can run local, you can do delivery stuff, and all of that stuff, or most of it, pays by the hour because it has to, because nobody else would do it any other way. And that way, you're getting paid for everything that you do. There's no two hours of free time at some dock 600 miles away from home or something like that. It's just not done in, in the short stuff. Most of these companies that pay by the hour have a benefit plan, a pension plan. It's just a better job. The trucks are smaller, it's easier. This license allows you to go and get a better job than over the road driving. Over the road driving is not where the money is anymore. Number two, in 2020, there are just a canoe full of regulations and stupid rules. That's a real downside. Let's face it, that's a problem. But let's, let's look at that realistically for a second. Uh, ELDs, driver facing cameras, and the 30 minute break regulation, for instance, all of those things that they, they slid in to make our lives miserable. And it's, you know, there's no more of this freedom of the road feeling that we used to have that attracted us to the industry. Not only has the freedom seemed to disappear, with the driver facing dash cams, it seems like even your, your privacy's disappeared. And after all of that settles in, let's look at it. It's not as bad as what it first appeared to be. In fact, the biggest problem that we were facing were the regulation of these ELDs. And that hasn't turned out to be that half bad at all. In fact, I've been kind of liking them. Drivers are finding out that they can't be bullied and pushed to run over their hours. They can't be forced to work too long. They can't be forced to work too hard. There's no arguing where you were. You can show, your ELD will show exactly where you were, that you were still sitting at the customer waiting for a load. Nobody takes off time at the customer. So they've, they've turned out to be a good, a good tool for protecting drivers' rights. It hasn't been that bad at all. Now the carriers try to use them as, as like a time management tool because they're realizing, hey, it's not working out the way we thought. But you know what? You can only travel so fast and you can only do so much in a day. And at the end of the day, 11 hours is up, you're done. You're kicking back and that's all there is to it. Number three, trucking is a tough deal. It's a tough lifestyle. It's hard on you. It's hard on your family and it's hard on your health. That's always been a bit of a downside with trucking. But you know what? It's only as bad as what you choose to make it anymore. You're more in control in 2020 of how you handle your job than you were in days gone by. These days, with the driver shortage, you're in the driver's seat literally. So they can't work you and run you like a dog unless you let them. And the ELDs there, once again, are helping us. They can't run us the way they used to. Not, not that hard, not that fast. It's just, it's had to ease off. So it's as much, they, they will run you as hard as you allow them to run you. So the lifestyle is going to be as tough on you as you let it be. And all sorts of guys now have recognized this fact that it's, you know, it's hurting their health, they're, they're getting heavy, they're getting overweight, they're having heart trouble, they're having, having breathing issues. 
and guys are going, you know, it's just not worth it for the little money that we make. So I like the job. I'm going to keep the job. I like driving the truck, but I'm just going to slack off a little to take care of myself. I'm going to take the time to get out of the truck, go for a walk, get a little exercise, eat properly. I want to be home more often. I'm going to tell the dispatcher I need to be home more often. I'm just, I'm just not running that way anymore. These days, you can get away with that. Carriers now have lost so many drivers that they've, they've kind of quit focusing on the hiring because it's just not working for them, these big hiring benches. And now they're starting to focus on driver retention. So more than ever these days in 2020, the carrier is willing to work with you because they can't afford to lose you. They realize they've got a good guy. They don't want you walking somewhere else. They know everybody else is looking for good drivers. And it's in their best interest to make you happy. Finally, let's talk about job security. I hear rumblings these days from guys saying, oh, the autonomous trucks are coming, the autonomous trucks are coming, we're going to be out of a job. Nothing could be further from the truth. Autonomous trucks won't see practical application and reality in our lifetime, I, I, I promise you. Sure, they can do a dry run through the desert with a load of beer, but the moment the weather turns crappy or they ask it to go into a mountainous state with snow or something like that, those trucks, those trucks are years and years and years away from being developed properly. Trucking is one of the greatest jobs to have for job security. You see, all over, manufacturing shutting down, the jobs are going to China and Mexico, but you don't see that with trucking. Trucking is always hiring, and it doesn't matter where you live, and this is one of the real pluses about trucking. You can live anywhere and get a trucking job. You can live in a great big city, you can live in a small town, you can live in a rural area, wherever you want to live. They're looking for truck drivers somewhere in that area, and all you've got to do is decide where you want to live and get a trucking job there. And not too many careers allow you to do that. That's a big plus in my book. And like I say, as far as the autonomous trucks, don't sweat it. They won't be around for many, many, many years to come. So trucking in 2020, there is great job security. And once again, with the driver shortage, you bet that adds to your security too, because carriers don't want to lose their guys. They can't afford to lose their guys. It's as simple as that. So at the end of the day, in 2020, trucking is going to still be a very good place to be positioned in the workforce. It's The problem with trucking today in 2020 is that there are a lot of scams out there and a lot of big carriers that like to, like to take the truth and twist it and manipulate the situation to their advantage. That's the danger these days, so that's what you've got to watch out for. You've got to make sure that you are controlling your destiny. Because if you let the carrier control your destiny, you've got an issue. They'll just work as hard as they can and that'll be the end of it. They don't care. They're after profit. They're after money. But you've got to take care of yourself. And it's like, it's like that everywhere. It's been like that for years. You've got to have the guts to stand up and take care of yourself. Don't allow them to bully you. Stick to your guns. When you want to be home, you want to be home. You control how well trucking works for you. And if it's not working for you at a particular carrier, look around and it's time to move and that's part of the challenge of trucking and I, I think this is true of any job too. You always want to be moving forward and excelling at what you do. So don't land at the first carrier and plan to spend the next 40 years there. Always look around. Look for better job opportunities, carriers that pay better, carriers that treat you more, with more respect or, or have a benefit package, whatever it's going to be. You always want to be moving forward in this career. and it, It's like any other career. So how well it works for you is up to you. It's worth the time and the effort to concentrate on keeping an eye on the job market and moving when the time is right. It's all about moving ahead. It's all about progress. There are still lots of jobs out here in 2020 there where truck drivers are making six-digit salaries. That's kind of where you want to be, so keep moving that direction. Be sure not to miss our video next week. We're going to be having a look at what the best way to position yourself is for 2020, whether you're better off to be an owner-operator, a company driver, or an independent. Stay tuned, it should be a good one. Take care, keep the rubber side down, and I'll see you on the backhaul.